Hey, everybody. It's Joe Baby here. Um, today is day 67 on my 2022 Appalachian Trail through hike. Uh, I am about 18 miles north of Duncannon, Pennsylvania, which puts me at about mile 1,166 miles, roughly. Um, as you can see, it is raining. And it has been raining for quite some time. It's actually pretty slippery through here too. It might not look slippery, but it is. <clears throat> um, so what's been going on the past couple days? So yesterday, I think I did a video. I haven't posted it yet, but yesterday, probably won't post it. Um, and I'm just going to say once again, too, if you want to see all my videos, I'm not posting them all. You can go into YouTube under my name. And they're all in there, finally. I'm not looking to, like, grow my YouTube page or anything or get subscribers or anything. But they're there if you want to see them. Whoa! They're there if you want to see them. Um, so yesterday... Uh, Eminem and I stayed in Carlisle, Pennsylvania at the Quality Inn, I believe. Pretty nice place. It's pretty, pretty nice for 60 bucks for two. Um, and then I was supposed to get my hiking poles and boiling springs, blah, blah, blah. They weren't there. Went to Carlisle Post Office. Took an Uber to Carlisle Post Office. And even though it said they were there, they weren't. So I had them, I had my poles forwarded to Wind Gap, Pennsylvania, which I think is, I don't even know, from here about 120 miles. So if they don't make it there in time, I'm gonna lose all faith in the postal system. Because I'm still I'm still hiking with uh one broken hiking pole. It's not going to hold up forever. But I'm still using it. So anyway, here's kind of how everything went down yesterday. So we knew rain was coming. And we knew it was going to be Friday and Saturday. Today's Friday. Didn't really know how much. Started out it was going to be an inch. And then it moved up to two inches. And then yesterday, it turned into a flood warning and three inches of heavy, steady rain. So, the initial plan, so what? here's Eminem and I were like, well, let's go to Duncannon and let's, here, let, me, uh, let me dry off this camera real quick. Let's go to Duncannon. And there's a pizza joint there. They serve beer. Let's talk about our options over a few beers and some pizza. And some appetizers. And other things. Okay. So we went to Sorrento's and sat down. So our initial plan was that we would hike out of town and get to a, a, a shelter and that way this morning Friday morning we could get up and we would be dry instead of having wet tents and everything and then if we stayed 
in a, a shelter Friday night, and then we would also just move to the next shelter Saturday night, sleep in the shelter, and then hike all day in the rain on Sunday as well, because it's supposed to be two days of constant, heavy, steady rain. And, um, and then by Monday, you know, we wouldn't have a bunch of wet stuff, just a little bit of wet clothes and stuff, and we could move on. So then we started talking to some other people, and they're like, well, we're staying at this place called Outdoorsy in Duncannon. And uh, I didn't, someone had told us they didn't have any room. And so I, we went into Outdoorsy because they also have a place where you can, if you have damaged socks, darn tough brand socks, which that's all I use, then you can exchange them for free for new ones. And then what they do is they send those socks back to Darn Tough and they get a replacement there. Pretty cool. So, sorry about that, just cleaning my screen up. So, we went there and I exchanged a pair of socks. I'm gonna exchange another pair when we get back there today. Anyway, uh, I was like, they said, well, we, we actually have uh, some space available tonight. And so I looked at Eminem and I was like, might not be a bad idea to stay there. So we took the, took the hospital space because we knew it was going to rain. So last night we stayed at Outdoorsy. And we went to, there's a little town pub and right down from the hostel. Um, so we went there, met a couple other hikers there, got a pitcher of beer, hung out for a little while. And uh, ran into Casper and Hummingbird. Casper is from Ireland. And Hummingbird is from Spain. About my age. He's a retired police officer. I don't know what she does. Um, he's from Ireland. Yeah, I said that. Anyway. So they said, well, we're going to hike 18 miles tomorrow and then get a shuttle. The shuttle's going to pick us up after 18 miles and bring us back to Outdoorsy. So I was thinking to myself, well, heck, we could split the shuttle four ways and then come right back to the hostel and, you know, do some laundry, get a hot shower right next to the pub. You know, still get an 18 mile day in, in this terrible weather. It's not terrible, but you know what I mean, wet weather. And still kind of, you know, not lose any time because everyone else took a zero day today because they were concerned about how much rain we were going to get. Well, it's just water. That's how I look at it. It's just water. So that hostel was full at the time. So I told the lady at the hostel this morning what we were thinking because there's also a, a Lutheran church in town that takes hikers. She said it was closed. She was going to open two more beds up in the hostel. So um, Eminem and I, for the second night, are also going to stay at this outdoorsy, which is cool. It's clean. Um, it's it's an okay hostel, but it's clean. I like I like how clean it is. They really do a good job with that. So that's kind of what, uh, what we're doing. So yesterday we got a 17 in out of Carlisle and then today we're going to get an 18 in and like I said, shuttle back to Duncannon. Um, I got a, I got a poncho. It's a cheapie, but, um, the problem was 
I think I had already talked about this. So, if I'm not wearing this poncho and I have this um, umbrella, it sheds all the water off the, you know, back on the back side of my pack, runs down my pack, and then it runs down the back of my pants down my legs, you know, and into my shoes, and it's just really uncomfortable. So with this poncho over my pack, it just allows that water to just drip off, and I don't have to worry about the back of my pants being soaked, which is sucks. <laughs> so I alleviated that with a $5 cheapy poncho. Um... But everything's good. I mean, it's been raining pretty pretty much steadily all day long like they predicted. And apparently tonight, I don't know when tonight, later tonight, I hope, um, the bulk of the heavy rain, the heavy, heavy rain, like I think they said two inches, is going to happen this evening. So I will be more than happy to uh, be off the trail when that occurs and let that water run where it needs to go. Um, Sunday, I said today's Friday, Sunday, we're supposed to get like a half inch uh, and then Monday it's supposed to clear up. So I can deal with that, but you know, if it would have been Thursday night rain, all day Friday, all day Saturday, all day Sunday or sporadic on Sunday. That's a long time to be out in the rain. And it's like, it's your, it's when it rains that much, man, it's like the, your clothes are soaked, your shoes, you know, you take them off at night and you put them back on soaking wet the next day. Do you put your wet socks on? You might as well, because you put a dry pair of socks on, they're gonna immediately get wet. So you're putting on wet socks, wet feet, into wet shoes, into wet clothes. And plus tomorrow it's supposed to be uh, a little cooler. If I'm not mistaken, it's supposed to be tomorrow in the 40s. So it's 50s today, which is pretty bearable. It's pretty bearable. Clean that screen up. There. Not too bad today. But being as wet as it is, and then it dropping down into the 40s tonight and tomorrow, the low 40s actually. Like I've said before, I mean, I'm, I am kind of here to have fun too. There's no reason to be miserable. I can take miserable occasionally and not really think twice about it, but it doesn't have to be all the time. <laughs> It's okay to be dry. Um, what else? Thunderbird. A uh, guy that I was hiking with back in uh, Georgia, North Carolina, and a little bit of Tennessee. He's uh, ready to... He's, ooh. Ooh. Starting to get a little... A uh, little more water down here. The trail is a creek. Oh, yeah, that's uh, real nice. It feels great. Um, Thunderbird's ready to start hiking with me again. He's the one that's super fast and does huge miles. But he's ready to... He said he's ready to back off his miles a little bit to hike with me. So, he's, you know, he's 19 years old. I'm 49. <laughs> so, uh, but he's cool. He's a cool guy and... Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing him. He's probably no more than, I don't even know. 
If I were to guess, I'd say no more than 10, 10 to 15 miles behind me at this point, super close. So I would say within the next day or two, <clears throat> we'll be uh, hiking together. So it'll be me and Eminem and Thunderbird and whoever else, I don't know at this point. But that'll be a, the, the three of us make a pretty good, uh, pretty good team. We're all motivated to uh, be done by um, uh, last week of June, first week of July max. That's the goal. And we are, we're, we're on track. I started March 1st and right now, if I only did 18 miles a day for the right now right now I'm trending 125 days which puts me you know first week of July that's doing 18s well I'm going to be doing a lot more than 18s today was an 18 just about so um you know, we'll pick our mileage up for sure into the mid, back into the mid twenties, like we've been doing, and uh, build up a little bit of time so that we can take a few zero days before the uh, end of the hike, and some more Nero days. Even though seventeen and eighteen miles a day isn't really a Nero, but that's kind of that's my Nero. Do seventeen, sixteen, seventeen miles. And then, you know, go in, go to a hostel, get to a hostel by three o'clock. And usually that's enough to energize me enough to get up the next morning and feel good. And, you know, because the zip, oh, whoa, just about slipped there. Whew. That was just about a good slip. There's a, coming down those steps there and just about bit it. <laughs> I have to see that in slow motion. Might be kind of funny. Probably need to get a chiropractor after that. Get an adjustment. Anyway, that's what's going on. Uh, today has been, you know, for a for a nasty rainy day. Today has been pretty good. No issues. Casper and Hummingbird are behind us. That's why I keep looking back. They have the shuttle driver's phone number. So I'm kind of taking my time because if I get to the road crossing and have to have to wait for an hour, it makes no sense. They're going to call the shuttle driver when they get to the top of the hill, which we were, you know, that was 15 minutes ago for me. So might as well slow down and wait for them instead of flying down and standing there in the rain waiting for a shuttle driver. So we're going back to Outdoorsy Hostel tonight. I'm thinking I'm gonna, I'm sure most people will probably go to the pub. Um, but I'm going to Sorrento's because they've got good food there and they've got some good beer too. So they've got good Italian food there. The, the pub has good food too. But I'd like to get a big Greek salad and a good Italian dish for tonight. So I'm looking forward to getting back there, getting a good hot shower, getting into some dry clothes and doing one more night in the hostel. Uh, next couple days, I mean, they're going to be wet. I'm not going to call them miserable because, you know, I enjoy being out here. Even when it's raining like this, if you're prepared, it's not really that bad. I'm sure most people think it would be sucky, but it's really not that bad. Um, you just got to be got to be prepared for it so I'm kind of just taking my time cruising down through here um, 
Oh, to Ooh. tomorrow should be interesting with all this rain. With all this rain. Um, I know I have to cross. I know the trail. Where the heck are they? Well, I'm not sure they're not far behind. The trail crosses a creek that has been dammed up by beavers. And from what I've heard, you, you know, you can't stay dry crossing it. I'm not anywhere close to being dry right now. Actually, I took and I rolled my pants up. Um, so I didn't get them all muddy. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm covered in mud. Covered in mud. And uh, so it's not like I'm dry. So going going through water is not a big deal, but I'm thinking with all this all this rain, have to be kind of careful, honestly, about um, a water crossing after all this rain. Um, I'm not doing anything dangerous. I'm not going to cross the water if it's swift or anything like that. That would be dumb have to figure something else out so that'll be interesting but that's the only thing I know of tomorrow that could be pretty interesting Pennsylvania actually there were some views back there but Pennsylvania I know there's good views but we're fogged in right now so I didn't you know I haven't seen anything all day I'm just kind of leisurely cruising I got about less than a mile left at this point to get to my 18 mile destination so that's all I got for you. I'm gonna keep on hiking now. Um, and I hope you guys have an awesome day because I know I'm having a great day. And hope you're staying dry because I'm not. And, but that's okay because I'm still having fun and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.